day with Mark Lindbar, we're uh, talking around the 60 foot edge of the tool bar. Mark had an opportunity to run this bar this summer. Mark, could you go over uh, how many acres you covered with the bar, the type of terrain, some of the benefits you saw from having a 60 foot bar, and uh, some other benefits of, of this piece of equipment? Um, we, we farm in northeast Missouri. We have a variety of terrain from rolling terrain with terraces, uh, uh, hills and stuff, to uh, flat bottom ground that's um, really heavy gumbo. So um, we got to run the bar in a variety of conditions. We ran it over a couple thousand acres, about uh, 2,500 acres. We, uh, um, some of the advantages we saw from having a 60-foot bar was we covered a lot more acres. Um, we were able to slow down, take our time, do a little better job, we thought. Uh, one thing different from this bar from the, our older bar we have is it's, it's on 60 inch centers. We didn't see any adverse effects from that, but with the dry weather, it's hard to say a, 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 for sure one way or the other. Um, we averaged about 10, maybe 12 miles an hour with it uh, most days and were able to cover a significant amount of uh, more acres uh, compared to our older bar. One of the things about this bar that Higgy's done, which is really neat, um, is you're able to increase or decrease down pressure on the wings. Uh, um, and that was, uh, of course, we started out, it was really dry. We got one significant rain event while we were uh, side dressing, which uh, actually loosened our soil up. So I actually got the opportunity to run it when it was wetter. And it was kind of neat because as the ground kept drying out, you put more down pressure. We got this one rain event. Uh, the ends were wanting to, to plow in and dig in, and we was able to take down pressure off of them and kind of get the bar level, running level again, uh, watching the coulter depths and stuff so we weren't putting ex excessive uh, down pressure on the coulters. And then as the ground dried back out, we were able to slowly increase the uh, pressure back up. Uh, another thing is you're able to pull pressure off the bar and put it on the tractor or vice versa. And uh, that had some uh, interesting effects. Um, as terrain changed going from gumbo or being in the hills, maybe wanting a little more uh, weight on the tractor so it could have a little more control or, or vice versa. Um, uh, or, or if you wanted to spread the weight out maybe when it was wetter um, over, over the entire bar. You had the capability of doing that. It's just, just very convenient um, to, to just be able to change for any type of soil condition. This bar here is I feel like it's much quicker um, than, than the other bar to be able to turn around. Um, the, uh, the gauge wheels on the front here, they, they speed the lift up considerably because I feel like you don't have to fill those airbags every time you pick up. Um, we've actually shelled quite a bit of corn that we side dress with this bar and we actually side dress some other corn with our other bar and I will say that there's significantly less headland damage. Uh, with the bigger bar than there was with the, the smaller bar. Um, another thing is, uh, I, th there's several advantages to that. One is I think that I think the lift time's quicker. Um, even though you have more tires going through the uh, end rows, you're turning half as many uh, half as many turns or a third or uh, 50 percent less turns depending on if you're running 30 or 40 feet. And also the wings pick up so much higher, um, they tend to flow through the corn a lot better. Uh, so I think the indro management is, is very good on the bar. And, I mean, even going across the field, it, you have control over all the sections. It just The bar handles really nice. So. All right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you.